Dr. Bobby Lazara from the Medical News Minute. Is potential exposure to the Zika virus the direct cause of microcephaly and other fetal CNS anomalies? An article published by Rasmussen in the New England Journal of Medicine sought to use Thomas Shepard's criteria for establishing proof of teratogenicity in humans. As a matter of fact, the authors marked that three critical conditions from Shepard's framework have indeed been met, establishing causality between exposure to the Zika virus and fetal brain anomalies. The three criteria from Shepard's framework identified as present were, number one, critical exposure to an agent at critical times in prenatal development. Number two, careful delineation of clinical cases with a specific defect or syndrome. And number three, rare environmental exposure associated with a rare defect with three or more cases. The authors also cited the Bradford Hill criteria and recent literature citations that enforce its use in establishing causality between Zika virus exposure and fetal brain anomalies. Perhaps it is now time to move completely away from hypothesis and focus on establishing risk criteria, prevention, treatment, and international funding as we move forward to combat the Zika virus. I'm Dr. Bobby Lazara for the Medical News Minute.